Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for my lovely Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what is unfolding before you. Let's see um, how things are going in your love life for the remaining of the month. How are you doing, my lovely Cappies? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Let's get into this reading. Let's see what's going on. All right. Let it get into it. Your first card here is the Five of Swords, Capricorn. This is representing your energy at the present. Five of Swords indicates combative, um, a bit defensive. Uh, this could speak about your feelings being hurt, Capricorn. What's going on? Uh, usually Capricorn is... You guys get offended when people question when people question your sincerity and i feel that that's where ego steps in because the five of swords is ego driven it's arguments and fights um being combative being very defensive but i feel that someone here hurt your feelings capricorn oh Okay, so we have the Seven of Cups here, and the Seven of Cups represents the person that you're currently interested in or that you're dealing with. Seven of Cups is scattered energy. This is representing uh, the partner, either dealing or entertaining options. This can also represent a person that doesn't really know exactly what it is that they want. Um, that could be the reason why you're triggered, Capricorn, which I completely understand. Um, yeah, because I feel like you're a sign, Cappy, where it takes a lot for you guys to be bothered. It takes a lot for people to get under your skin or to make you feel defensive, make you feel like um, like being petty. And I feel that that's not a natural state for Capricorns. Uh, with the Seven of Cups here, though, I feel like someone made you feel like you were an option or like they're changing what they once said they wanted in this re relationship or connection. Um, and that could be why you're hurt. That could be why you're feeling like, like they deceived you or they weren't completely honest with you. The relationship itself is the Prince of Wands, which is the Page of Wands. Uh, you may be dealing with fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries type of energy. I do see air here as well. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, I feel like your partner or person of interest was very quick to entertain some type of attention that they were getting. Uh, they were being immature or taking unnecessary risks. For some of you guys, it could be that you're just frustrated because you don't know exactly where you stand with them. And we all know Cappies don't really entertain anything that they don't see it going somewhere. Uh, so I feel like you're defensive and you are either upset or feeling like you are very much in your feeling and we all know when Capricorns get mad, you guys just automatically go from like loving and sweet to completely distant to completely like you literally go off the grid. You literally start to create distance, um, probably because you're processing this or you're trying to better understand it. Um, but I feel that this person that you're dealing with could be a person that craves or needs a lot of attention. And I feel like they were entertaining certain options. And there's a feeling like, like frustration because they put you in a situation where you had to see them in a different light. I feel that that's where your defense is coming from. I feel that that's why your pride is hurt. Um... Princess of Wands, sorry, Prince of Wands also represents like major immaturity issues. Um, so it could be that they are, like I said, they took an unnecessary risk. 
Interesting. Yep. We have the lover's card here, and the lover's is the advice. <clears throat> So I feel that for the month of April, the end of April, there's going to be a decision that needs to be made, Capricorn. And this is a decision that is going to be made on your terms. I feel that this is you making a decision. For some of you guys, honestly, I see you guys like walking away from the situation like this was the push that you needed. If in the past you felt confused or didn't really know if you can trust the person, I feel like they're showing you their true colors. And you're not going to like hesitate to cut them off. You're not going to hesitate to walk away from this. The lover's card also speaks about being at crossroads right now. Um, yes, you will be making a decision. But I feel that the crossroads could be like almost a self-actualization. Something about either past behaviors on your part. Um, karma in regards to relationships. Um, but I definitely see that temptation was here or present or your partner, like I said, was entertaining someone else, was giving attention to someone else. It could have been just communicative, like through text, social media, that type of energy. And I feel that that's enough for you to um, pull back or pull your energy away from that. If you are dealing with a situation where you felt like the person uh, was making you feel like you had options. You're definitely, I don't see you dealing with that. Uh, I see you making the decision to walk away from that. Um, no one puts Capricorn in second place. Um, no one makes me feel like I'm an option is what I'm hearing. So I feel that like you're going to be making the decision to walk away or to completely end this connection with the person that you've been dealing with. Yeah, the advice card here, Capricorn, is the Ace of Pentacles. So the Ace of Pentacles symbolizes to me a new beginning. Uh, this speaks to me about a new beginning in regards to love. I feel that there's a conclusion that's happening where there was a lot of instability or people were being not completely honest or transparent with you. And I keep hearing self-actualization. Uh, so this is like you understanding that in the past, maybe you weren't the best partner. Maybe you did certain things. And it's like the moment you started to open up or trust this person, they showed you what you had initially been either sensing or feeling. Um, with the lover's card, though, and the ace of pentacles, there's a new beginning that's coming towards you, Capricorn, where it's much more stable and it's a better partner for you. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with the Gemini that's coming through. For others, it may be another Earth energy, Taurus, uh, Capricorn like yourself, or Virgo. Uh, I see pretty much all the signs here. I see fire, air, water, Earth here as well. Um, but yeah, I feel like... I feel like someone really upset you because they made you feel like... And I feel that the confrontation was like them reflecting on you like you weren't doing enough or you weren't around or you weren't giving me the attention that I needed. And in reality, like that's that's a cop out like that's bullshit there. They know that you are always working towards something or trying to build something or trying to grow. They knew you that way from the very beginning. So that's not something that could be like you can't make that an issue now. Um that you've been together for quite a while. You know what I mean? It's like, it's no surprise. This is something that that, that they've known about you, Capricorn. Uh, so I feel like it's a cop-out. I feel like it's a bullshit, basically. They're using this as to try to make you feel like you were the one that wasn't doing enough in this relationship. And I don't see you putting up with that nonsense, to be honest with you. Um For others of you, it could be that you were dealing with a person um, and then out of nowhere, someone from your past came back around and is trying to like meddle in your life and create some type of um, like they want to see if you're able to if you would take them back, basically. And I feel that you're a bit stuck or feeling a bit confused but again, what they're telling me is there is you're at crossroads right now. There's a new beginning that's coming towards you that is m built on a more stronger foundation. Um, 
for some of you guys, it's alignment. Alignment in the sense of being able to bring in or call in the person that is for you, Capricorn. I'm hearing a lot of options for some of you guys. Uh, you may be dealing with a situation where, you know, this person hasn't really, like, hasn't really put in as much effort as you have and you keep kind of holding on to that, trying to make it work. Um, but by the end of this month, I see a new person coming in that is going to question or challenge what you've been trying to hold on to. And it's almost like a realization of, oh my God, I've been putting all this effort and here comes this person and everything feels so easy, so organic. Like it doesn't take, you know, for me to go above and beyond to make a relationship work. So it's like I'm seeing a more healthier relationship come in to your life for some of you guys while you're still trying to fix um, a relationship from the past. For some of you guys, it could be that you've been dealing with uh, people that are just confused. They don't know what the hell they want. Uh, they have no aspirations. Uh, for some of you guys, there is almost like a feeling of complacent. Maybe you've been dealing with people that are very complacent. They don't really want, you know, um, to put in that extra work or to make something of themselves. And it's kind of frustrating at this point for you because here you are trying the best you can to grow and to build a stronger foundation, not just for you, but for the future. Um, so there is a bit of stagnation and there's a bit of, of like feeling like stressed or feeling like you're tired of this shit. Um, I see a, a new beginning for you guys. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, that's exactly the energy I'm sensing. Like if you've been dealing with the person that doesn't have their life together. Um, they're a complete mess. Um, it's a person that is not inspired. It's not motivated. Like you've been trying to forcefully fix this relationship on your own. And I see you contemplating, should I stay? Should I go? Uh, I put so much work. I put so much effort. For some of you guys, you haven't walked away because it's almost like a feeling of you want to feel vindicated. You want to feel like it was worth it in the end. And I know that's a very Capricorn trait. You guys just are not quitters. You were built to not quit. Um, but it comes to knowing your worth and knowing that you deserve better Capricorn. Uh, with the lovers and the ace of pentacles, there's new love coming in for you. And it's something that is going to be more in alignment to who you are. A uh, person that is going to motivate you. A person that is going to be inspired or even match um, the type of energy that you have and that you bring to the table. So again... If you've been dealing with this type of energy, like walk away from it. Uh, stop sacrificing yourself or stop going above and beyond for this person that's fucking confused and doesn't know what they want. Um, embrace this new beginning because it's going to be a much better suited partner for you. So I hope this gives you guys some type of insight, some type of guidance. I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.